Hi guys, today we are checking the new WL30 XLR from Boss. Alright, welcome back to the channel guys. Um, I appreciate you guys coming in and checking out all the cool demos and things I get the chance to do. Uh, I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of these, the Boss WL30 XLR wireless system. Uh, tiny little box, so if you are looking for one, uh, you might need to ask, because uh, they might be hidden in a counter somewhere. But just having a look at the box, uh, we can see it says uh, plug and play wireless mic experience. Works with most standard dynamic microphones, not compatible with a condenser microphone. So, <laughs> mic is an amplifier not included. Okay, on the back we got a couple of features. Plug and play wireless system for a standard dynamic XLR mic. Uh, for those who don't know, XLR is the phrase used for what um, they used to call a Canon or a microphone cable. Ideal for singers, stage performers, public speakers, video producers and more. Fast hassle-free visual setup. Light and compact transmitter for comfortable handheld performance. Receiver connects to an XLR mic input on a mixer, amplifier, audio interface, etc. Rock solid wireless performance with 14 channel scanning. No charging needed up to 11 hours of runtime with regular AA alkaline batteries. Okay, and um, so once you open up the box, I'm sure there will be a little manual. Yeah. There's nothing else in there. Um, comes in a little cardboard box. They're both uh, wrapped in plastic. And then you get your registration card. It looks a little something like that. And then obviously manual. Quick start, install the batteries. They do include uh, two packs of two batteries. Um, I've put a set in already and I've got another set sitting in my gig bag, just in case I need it. Uh, you connect the first uh, jack to your mixer amp or effects unit. You turn off the phantom power of the device. Very important, because uh, dynamic mics don't use uh, the plus 48 phantom power. So you don't want to be frying anything unintentionally. And uh, you won't fry it with the Phantom on, but should your mixer um, not be wired correctly or something, uh, the ground, uh, the, the 48 volts can cause damage to the some gear. All right, so let's have a look what we got here. So this will be, this is the side that goes into the mixer. So this would be your receiver. got a power button over there it's got a I think that's a scan button and then you've got your channels left and right so what you do and then this this would be for your microphone side and this one's a lot easier it's just on and channel left and right so what you do is you press and hold the power button to turn it on like this you can see it's on and you'll see it has a number four okay there we go. <laughs> sorry i was holding it upside down the whole time now it disappears so that usually means it's locked in but if we press and hold this i think it scans went from 14 and it's counting down and then it normally detects the best channel channel four so what you would then do is turn on the mic end. Mine's already on channel four. I think I might have used it, set it up at home. But using the left and right, um, you could scan through the uh, channels like this. And straight away, this little blue button goes off. So once I put this back on four, you'll see the blue button over here. Now we are connected. So this, what you're hearing right now, 
is my Rode M1 microphone XLR cable into my VE500 um, vocal pedal, which I'm using as a preamp um, here at home. Uh, this I just put it in today. I wanted to see if I can use this for my videos for a bit better vocal sound. So I'm now going to unplug. Check one, two. There we go. And without a problem, you should be able to hear the quality difference. Um, I use this live at a gig. Um, what I'll do if I go to a new venue is I'll set up my sound and my tracks and my guitar and my vocals, I'll just play through and then I'll, I'll plug this in, walk out front just test my mic just to make sure that the level is correct um so yeah that is the wl wireless 30 xlr system from boss very easy and very simple to to use um it's my room here is not the best because i do have i've got a fiber router just outside there and i've also got foundation walls over there so if i leave the studio that side this cuts off and that's not the fault of um, of this it is just not even as high powered wi-fi can get through that wall but completely wireless and i can walk around my room and show you guys many many things like hello don't forget to like and subscribe and we can take a walk around and as long as you're as long as you're sort of in eyesight of the unit you shouldn't be having any issues what we're going to do now is blind everyone watching i uh, don't know how good the signal is going to be out here um, i'm going to keep talking i'm probably going to lose you now because i'm going through my thick wall foundation walls and i'm now back in the studio door number one maybe we still have signal i'm now walking back into the studio so if all of that was lost what i did was walk into the kitchen and that requires me going through going past two foundation walls so it most probably cut out there so i'm just going to go outside okay so yeah, we still have signal. I can see that meter working just fine. Now walking outside, walking across the wall. And if I stand out here, can I still see talking? I can. Hello. Hi. That's at least five to ten meters away. Um, you know, I suppose I could probably try the garden as well, but that's probably going to die. Um, I'm now walking into my garden. In past the studio door. To you. I went all the way down to that corner there. So if it captured, that's great. If it didn't, you'll know why. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys found that at least uh, enjoyable or um, informative. Um, that is the WL30XLR from Boss. Um, I had a whole outro I recorded, but after uh, doing my edit and, and um, watching and listening back to the audio now, I thought I would just give my honest opinion. I think that this unit is really good for my sort of use, which is where I've got the mixer on stage with me. Um, I think it's good for on the field recording where you have someone on a camera recording the audio and you need to be in front. You uh, you know, where you sort of have that um, eyesight between, well, I don't have it on here, but, but you've got the eyesight between these two. I don't think my house is a fair place to do this because of 
the like I mentioned earlier, the walls here even interfere with um, Wi-Fi. This unit operates on the 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency band, which is the same as your Wi-Fi routers um, and various other things. As far as big stage goes, I can't really comment on that because I'm not sure how far it will throw um, without foundation walls all around you, you know. But 14 channels uh, to go through so you can have a few of these running at any time. Uh, they claim to have a latency of 2.3 milliseconds. I can't say that even watching this back, it doesn't look like there's any latency to me. The dynamic range is 110 decibels or greater. Uh, frequency response is 20 to 20. That's about it. So I just thought I should edit the ending just to give my honest uh, feedback because I do like to be as clear and transparent with you guys as possible. So if you're a one man guy who wants to be on stage, you've got your mixer very close to you and you just would prefer to go wireless um, for a $300 price i don't think it's terrible i uh, i think it's fair uh considering the price of actual wireless microphone systems uh, but obviously with those you will get different um, results you know with a further sort of push but if you have a dyna dynamic mic like i personally have set up this rode m1 exactly the way i like it i don't want another microphone um this does come in a wireless system but that's 10 grand and that's a lot you just have to get a new mic where you could just get this for basically half that price anyway i will leave all affiliate links in the description if you don't mind leave it a like um, maybe consider subscribing check out some of my other videos i've got a couple of playlists um, i've got a less let's test it playlist i I've got the GT1000 and 1000 core tutorials. I'm currently busy with my Katana Artist MK2 tutorials. Feel free to ask me anything in the, in the comment section. And uh, yeah, until next time, you stay safe out there and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.